Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today I'm going to show you how you can add glyphs to your text in design space because adding glyphs can make a real change to how your font looks. So when you install a font to your computer and Design Space then uses your system fonts, it will only bring in the basic letters that make up the foundation of that font. I don't even know what that word was. Font makes up the foundation of that font. But quite often, a font will have hidden glyphs, swirls, extra characters, um, pretty little accents that you can actually then bring into Design Space to completely change the way that your text looks. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go into your App Store. And this is for iOS. So this will be your Apple iPad or your Apple phone. And you're going to search for Unicode Character Viewer. There are several different Unicode apps. This is the one I use. I believe it's so long ago since I installed it, but I believe that it costs one pound. I could be wrong. That could have increased. But I am 99.9% .9 sure that when I installed it or paid for it kind of three plus years ago, it was about a pound. It could be a little bit more. There are free ones and there are higher paid ones, but this is the one that I've always used and I've never had an issue with it. So I'm going to install that to my device. If I go into Design Space and I open up a text box, and I choose a system font, I'm going to select Everly and I'm just going to write my text and I want to bring in a different Y. I want to select a kind of more flowy Y. So I'm going to come out of Design Space and I'm going to open up my Unicode app. You'll see we've got several options. I always select Browse Fonts. And I'm going to find the font that I'm working with in Design Space. So in this case, it's Everly. And it'll then bring me up all of those different characters and glyphs. So you can see here that there's lots of different alternative letter types. So I want a nice flowy Y. So I think I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to come to the top of my screen and you'll see there is a box with an arrow. If I click on that, it then gives me the option to share glyph. And I can then select share glyph. And that then brings up a box which allows me to select copy. Once I've copied it, I can then close down the app, come back into design space. I'm going to open up a text box. Again, I'm going to make sure I'm using the same script, which is Everly. And if I just delete where it says text, I can then paste using next to my undo arrows at the top here. I've got two kind of a light and then a dark clipboard. If I click on that, it will then paste my letter. And I want to swap out the Y on the happy for this Y. So the first thing I want to do is make sure they're the same size. So if I go to edit, you can see the size of my happy font is 553.41. So we're just going to make it 550. And then the same with my Y, I'm going to make the size 550 so that they are the same size. If I then select happy and I go to actions, which is down at the bottom here, I can select ungroup and that's going to ungroup each of my letters. I can move this Y out the way and bring this Y in. Now you'll note that these letters are all overlapping. And as you can see on here, we can see where they overlap. So if I draw around all of them and I select attach, you'll see that we can still see 
where those letters are joined. And if I just attach it, it will cut out where they join up. We don't want that. So we want it to become one solid piece of text. And we need to use the weld for that. Now, when you weld something, it's like super gluing it. So if you weld, you save, you close design space down, and then you reopen the project at some point, you cannot unweld. You can go back as long as you haven't come out of design space. But once you've saved it and you've closed design space down, there is no way to unweld it. So what I always do is I save, then I weld, and then at some point I will close down design space. So that if I go back into that project, it's saved as it's attached not saved as it's welded. So if I then want to detach it and change for a different letter, I can. So I always save it and then I weld it. And as you'll see, if we zoom in, when we select weld, those extra pieces where they overlap disappear. So anytime you overlap something, you need to weld it before you cut it and that's for text or images or shapes. But I always advise saving it, then welding it. Because as I say, if you save it, if you weld it, save it, and then close down design space, if you come back in, you cannot unweld. So always save first, then weld, then cut, then close design space down. And then if you want to amend it at any point, you can without having to redo the whole thing. I hope this has been informative for you. If you've got any comments or questions, please do leave them below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. As always, so thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.